In this lecture, we talked briefly about the idea of outsourcing, which is a way of getting uh, some of the best, some of the cost benefits of a competitive marketplace in a, in a vertically integrated environment. It allows you to take some of the things that aren't necessarily core and prime to your business operation, your business model, and get market bids and get uh, out other companies that operate as, uh, as support organizations to do that work for you. That's outsourcing. That's this notion that I mentioned in a, a, a one or two lectures ago about tapering. In other words, you are vertically integrated, but you don't necessarily do everything. You do those things or you identify those things that are core to your value proposition in the marketplace. And then you outsource other things like call centers or technical support, um, back office operations like billing or whatever, or maybe even warehousing distribution, those kinds of things. That's essentially what the outsourcing model is about. Essentially what we try to, to think about is that if, you're, if an operation that you perform is performed by a lot of organizations, it doesn't necessarily make your customer think of you differently, or they don't consider that as part of the primary reason that they buy your product, that's a good candidate for outsourcing. Right? It has something that, that you can get very effective uh, now with uh, quality assurance and what ISO 9000 quality uh, processes that are in place and certification. You can get very high quality organizations to do work for you that old, in the old days more organizations used to do themselves. But now you can get other people to do that like billing or HR management. Um, trucking or distribution, logistics, there are various kinds of things that companies can outsource and still not in any way harm the unique value that they get, not only in the, their primary areas, but in all parts of the value chain. Um, it, it, it creates a, a better, more efficient organization. It allows organizations to bring new technology in more easily because these outsourcing firms are working with a lot of companies, so they're doing state-of-the-art. The organization, the main organization, our organization, doesn't have to keep up with the latest in billing technology, for example. So you do all of those things. It reduces the risk of you being caught up in, uh, in doing things the old way and having a competitor leapfrog you because you're bringing all this, uh, this intelligence into the business in terms of these basic core, op these basic support operations. And at the same time, it allows you to add value all the way along the value chain as necessary. Uh, managing this tapering process where you decide what you do in the value chain, what's core to your value proposition, and at the same time outsourcing so you get effective and efficient and high quality support services all the way along the value chain is one of the key strategic activities. It's really operational strategy and how you manage your operations effectively and with state-of-the-art technologies and, um, and processes. Um, it's one of the key areas in, in strategy. Everything you do, when you enter, launch a new product, open up a new, uh, decide to do some defensive tactics, whatever, within that process of implementation, you're going to have this, uh, this question of what do we do ourselves and what do we outsource? And that's one of the key things to be thinking about in the implementation of any strategic activity. These are some of the things that you... Um, you want to understand what the organization that you work with brings, in, in, brings it to the table. Um, it allows you to figure out how your company can develop your own processes and what you want to do and how you want to control that. Um, you do lose a little bit of control when someone else is managing the process, but new IT systems help, help bring that information in because you're, you have visibility into what your outsourced players are often doing, even though they're arm's length transactions. Um, and sometimes there's less, uh, less incentive by outside players um, to bring in the, the latest technology that you might purchase yourself on, because they're trying to manage their cost structure as well. Um, in the last lecture, we'll talk about all of this in the context of strategic alliances. One of the things about business strategy is we learn quickly that we can't do everything better than everyone else. Other people do things well, as well, do things well that are in a different market than us, for example, and it always pays or often pays to form partnerships and alliances with other firms and how you go about that and how you think about those alliances. That's what we'll talk about next.